across the cage in the red corner with no wins and three losses. Fighting independently right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is David Guerrero. Yeah. Welcome to the action inside the cage is Dr. John Quinn. Some weight action up next, Eric Vanderlei in the blue, I guess it's Vander Lee, I just want to say Vanderlei, Vanderlei Silva, Vander Lee in the blue and gray, David Guerrero in the black. No touch gloves to start the fight here. Old fighters pawing out of chat to figure out the range. Guerrero, as we said, got the, the last minute distraction. It sounded like what happened was is he was placing his cup uh, in his shorts. They, they ripped on the side, that's how things happen. Really, I mean, a last-minute thing. Yeah. Oh, Vanderlee catches the kick and gets a takedown. Very nice. Beautiful trip there after catching the kick. In the open guard now. Let's see what kind of ground game Guerrero has off his back here. Looks like right now Guerrero just kind of holding tight. Not sure if he's looking for the stand-up or just, you know, wants to slow things down right now, but certainly not doing much other than just holding tight. Yeah. And with these two minute rounds, this is not the most effective strategy because you get stuck down there and it's a round in the hole very, very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the referees in the amateur ranks are a little bit Oh, weird. beautiful oh, sweep. Nice sweep there. Well, that's what he was waiting on. There we go. Of, you know, it's awesome. oh, and he gave up the half guard there. Vanderly active off his back right away, put, putting his legs up. Oh. oh. Guerrero tries to slam his way out. It looks like that temporarily lowered the legs. Oh, and he throws them up again. Vanderlee very active on his back. Looking to get those legs up high, working for a submission. Meanwhile, David Guerrero, yeah, not a lot of room to strike. No, definitely not. He's getting held down here. Vanderly is active with the submissions. We'll see if he can get a leg up, catch an arm, or a choke. Or perhaps even a sweep of his own here. Guerrero worked in one small little hammer fist there. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Looks like Vanderly is going to try one more time to turn for a submission. It's like he's going for an Owo Plata here. Oh. Round ends there. Mike Vaughn, can a fighter win a round off of his back? I don't know. That was a very tough one because he got the takedown, but that was a very nice sweep by Guerrero. I think we might have to give Guerrero the round there. I don't know. It's a, it's a close one. It's tough to call. It's tough to call. You're going to go with Guerrero. I'm, I'm going to go with Vanderlee. So it looks like we're split. So that's, for the that's bad news. Tonight, there that's bad we go. news for the judges. But yeah, you know, I, I, I see what you're saying. The, the sweep was nice, but to me, the takedown was the reason why they were there. Once they were on the back, once he did get the sweep, uh, I felt like it was Vanderlee that was one as we watched the replay here that was really doing everything. He was looking for submission after submission. Uh, Guerrero was never able to really posture up. So, now, that, that said, I mean, we see it all the time. Judges really do seem to value top position. I, I just, in my mind, I don't feel like he did enough with it. So, uh, looks like we're split on this. Yeah, true. He did spend most of the round defending. It's a very close round. I mean, it was not much, not a ton to work with there. There wasn't too much significant uh, I definitely damage. wouldn't think that either fighter could feel comfortable thinking, I took that round. No, absolutely not. So Vanderly in the blue and gray. Opens with a head kick. In the black. And, uh, yeah. well, let's see if Vanderly immediately tries to throw his legs up again, and he does. Top position early on the second round. Turning oh. for the arm bar. Oh, oh, and he may have it. Oh, Guerrero oh, again tries to end. And he finishes it. Beautiful. Guerrero tried to slam his way out and it just tightened it up, and Vanderly gets the finish. Very nice submission. Yeah, you can see the, the tension on his face right away. The pressure was on that elbow. He could not slam out of it. Had to tap before he could get it down. And Eric Vanderly picks up the submission. And again, Mike, I mean, uh, listen. The fun, entertaining back and forth over the ground. David Guerrero, you still got to wonder, did that malfunction get into his head a little bit? Obviously, we, we commended him for coming in and trying to learn his lessons and better himself, but what an unfortunate way to start a fight. Yeah, and some, some crucial mistakes. I mean, he tried to slam his way out of multiple submissions. That's really, unless you're a very powerful guy and you feel very confident that move, that's not the best way to do it. It's better to be, try to be technical, fight your way out of that choke or arm bar or whatever, and not just go for the slam. And that yeah. was his biggest mistake in the fight, and it cost him yet another loss. Yep, and here you see the, the finishing move here. Turned over. You know, 
he done a good job of defending it, but he's finally able to see it in. Let's take it up his official time. Picks up the submission win by Armbar. He moves to two and one. David Guerrero falls to zero and four.